Good morning. Good morning from Disney Springs. So we have a lunch reservation at Wine Bar George today. That is one of our favorite restaurants and we can't believe we haven't reviewed it yet. We've been there probably three or four times. We even went for Thanksgiving this year. We did. It's just a great restaurant. We're really excited to share it with you guys. And we're also here. We're going to meet some friends who are here this week for Run Disney. Um, so we're excited to meet up with them. And we have some birthdays in our family coming up this week. Yeah, so we're just going to do a little shopping moseying around the typical Disney Springs kind of day, which includes eating, shopping, and then a lot of the times in my case, eating some more. <laughs> so Can't stop, won't stop. Especially when you're around here, the food <laughs> is, it's plentiful. So come join us, guys. Yeah, let's go. Go, Sethi. Almost your birthday. Is it just Bye. me or is the music here really good? Leave it in the comments. Do you guys love Disney Springs music like me? This is definitely my jam right here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head over to the world of Disney and we're gonna meet up with our friends. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Beautiful day and the crowds are fairly light. Not bad at all today. Right in front of the paddlefish, looks like there's a wedding going on today. I didn't know they did weddings here. It's pretty cool. Nice spot to have a wedding. Does anybody know if the paddlefish restaurant is an actual boat or was a boat at one time? Or did they just make it look like a boat? Because like, look at the bottom, it's squared off. Right. So probably not. Unless they built the foundation and then took the top of the boat and put it on top of the foundation, I'm not sure. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, and if anybody knows, leave it in the comments. I'm really curious about this. It's very cool looking. This is such a great store. All right, we made it. See what we have today. <laughs> Stitch backpack. I haven't seen this one yet. This is pretty cool. Stitch sweatshirt. I mean, it stitches everywhere. Everywhere. There's another island over here. More stitch. More stitch. And more stitch. More stitch and more stitch. Wow, I know, so much. Oh, these are cute. Look at the stitch hat. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> there we go. That's what I need right there. <laughs> it just dawned on me why stitch is so popular right now. Right. Because DVC tower going on at the Polynesian. Oh, maybe. I think they're pushing stitch for that reason. Either that I don't or know, stitch. Just a guess. Just, he's incredibly popular though. Like when you go to the parks, it's stitch gear. He's everywhere. never been this popular though. You don't think so? No. I don't know. So I don't know. What do you guys think? It is a lot of stitch. I think it's because of, of the Polynesian DVC tower going in. There's a lot of stitch. It, it, there's a ton of stitch. But I love stitch, so. <laughs> How are you doing, Kristen? Hey, Eric. Eric. I was gonna jump in the back of that shop, but I didn't. Know. You guys look I, like you had something good. I think you should have. <laughs> I know. That would have been hilarious. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? So Kristen and Eric from People Moved hey, by Disney. Yes. So they have their own YouTube channel yep. and they are amazing. And they're here to run. You guys just need to move here now. <laughs> Let me tell you, you guys, not like watching your vlogs, I'm like, we're having, we're having so fun. Living the yeah. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Eric and Kristen, they're both doing the, the race. You're doing what, the half the marathon? 10K. No, we're doing the 10K. The 10K, okay. Yeah. This is our third, second 10K, third 10K? Third 10K. And do you have any sort of diet restriction before the race? No, just try not to eat too heavy the night before. Get a good night's sleep because you have to get up really early. So no funky chickens the night before then? No funky chicken. <laughs> the funky chicken I had for breakfast and I asked Kristen if we're going to be coming back. And probably not, so that's why. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You got to take advantage of that. I think it's one of the best sandwiches on Disney property. What do you I think, think it's one of the best chicken sandwiches in the world. <laughs> it really is good. So, love it so much. Actually, if, if we didn't have a reservation at Wine Bar George, I think I would get one right now because I'm starving. You could always get one to go. <laughs> That's true. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. There's enough temptation around here. There is. There really is. You got to pick and choose. You your, really do. Your foods wisely. Oh, man. So a, a really fun thing that they do here is you can customize your order. So it looks like you can customize apples, Rice Krispie treats. They have Mickey shaped marshmallows in a cake pop. They'll give you a card where you can check off all the ingredients that you want added. You hand it off to the counter and then you can watch them make it right in front of you. So just so you guys know that you can't customize until 12 o'clock and then you can do it all the way up to 10 o'clock at night. So. Yeah, super, super fun thing to do.
So if you can't get a reservation at Wine Bar George, you can come to the bar, which is called The Basket at Wine Bar George on the right. And look at those hand breaded crispy mac and cheese bites. Those look amazing. Oh, and they man. also have wine and beer and cocktails available to go. Oh boy. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> trouble. You can also get a meat and cheese box to go. Chicken and apple pie. Wow, look at those things. And I like how they have an arrow directing you in the right direction here. So here's the menu. For lunch, we have small plates. Their hummus is really good. We've had the hummus here yes, before. it is delightful. And I heard the meatballs are also delightful. And Kristen was telling us about the Saganaki on fire, right? Yeah, she said it's a show. So I'm kind of curious about that. It's really good, but also a show. So I feel like some of these are, they could qualify as like a full meal, well, you, you know? You get like a couple of small plates and that could be your lunch. Right, right that's I mean? true. All right, they have some boards, a cheese board, and, and a charcuterie board. A big board, oh boy, $64. Wow. Must be some pretty good cheese. And here are the entrees. Snapper sandwich. I don't think I've ever seen a fish sandwich made out of snapper before. They have family style plates, skirt steak, $81. So that serves two to four people. Grilled whole Greek sea bass, wow. Kristen was telling me that the frascato here is really good. So it's Dole Whip mixed with Moscato and vodka. Don't look so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. We're back. I know what's coming, it's good. I like how the lighting fixtures here look like upside down wine glasses. <laughs> That's cool. So here is the extensive wine list that they have here. 160 wines to choose from. All different price points from all parts of the world. So I'm not a big drinker, but when I come here, I do like to get a glass of the Moscato because it's really good. It's um, a light, sparkling, sweet. It's a much like sweeter kind of wine, but um, this one's really good. It's not too sparkly. It's, I think they call it La Parmina, and it's $9 for like a six ounce glass. They have you taste it, hopefully try it, make sure you like it. Um, but it's an Italian Moscato. It's good, really good. All right, so for an appetizer, we're gonna get the house-made meatballs. These look really good. Triple cheese, polenta, and tomato sauce. You had me at triple cheese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here are the meatballs. They came very quickly. It was a yeah. matter of five minutes and they're here. These are looking fabulous. It's really good. It smells really good. <laughs> This is one of those restaurants where, like, your, your mouth is watering when you're smelling the smells, you know? <laughs> it smells amazing. So, if you haven't had polenta, it's like a really creamy, uh, creamy base. Like, it's kind of like grits, but like smoother. I don't know how else to describe it other than that. But it's very cheesy, creamy, delicious. Um, the sauce has like a little hint of heat at the end, but it's not overwhelming. And the meatballs are very tender. They're cooked to perfection. It's very tasty. It's a nice combination of like a little bit of spice, good sauce, the cheeses. It's really, that's a delightful appetizer. I'd get this again for sure. So I just tried that appetizer and I, I just changed my entree order actually. I'm gonna order three of these appetizers <laughs> as the main meal because this is amazing. <laughs> Polenta is, is very creamy, uh, cooked to perfection. Uh, nice cheeses in there. Meatballs are very tender. Now, I like how the dish, it's not like overly salted. This is really good and it's hearty. You can get away with getting more of a lighter entree with this appetizer. Yeah. Um, definitely has, you know, it's a lot of protein. It's rich, so it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna help to fill you up. I want more. Who's gonna get that last meatball, Karen? We could split it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We done did Where's it. the spatula? Once in a while, you should be allowed to lick your plate. I think in this this situation here, you should be allowed. It is it is so good. I don't want to waste any of it. I feel like you could spend a lot of time in here. You know, you could grab some wine and a small plate, and then grab another glass of wine, grab, get another small plate, and do that a few times. And, and there you go. That's that's your night right there. <laughs> So I ordered the steak frites, which is skirt steak, caramelized onion aioli, and fries. That sounds really good. That's not good. And that's $23. So here's the steak frites. So it's skirt steak with caramelized onion aioli and really 
still the cheese looking french fries, so this looks amazing. Okay, so my steak was seasoned and cooked perfectly. I asked for medium rare, that's exactly what I got. It was very tender. Um, the caramelized onion aioli was amazing. I love caramelized onions, that's like my favorite way to eat them, so um, I was pretty excited to try this. It has like a little bit of spice in it, but nothing overwhelming. Um, the fries are cooked really nicely, and it's it's just everything's very like easy to eat. You know, the, the steak is easy to cut, and um, just very tasty, and I think this is the second time I've had this actually. I think the first time we came, this is what I got, and it was really good then. It's really good now. I highly recommend it. Hallelujah, amen. I'm gonna try the snapper sandwich. So the server just let me know that instead of snapper, they're actually serving Branzino today. They go back and forth. Whatever cut is gonna be the best at that time. All right, so here's my fish sandwich. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen a fish sandwich presented this way before. It's so brightly colored, it's really pretty. It is. <laughs> So you have the pickled onions on top with this sauce must be the grabiche, which I've never had before. And this fish is looking nice, lightly seared on the outside, looking really good. And it also comes with house-made chips. So the bread also looks like it's nicely toasted with lots of butter in there. Oh man, look at that. There we go. This is delicious. This is so good. The fish is cooked to perfection. It has a nice sear on the outside, but it's still very tender, flaky. It has a really nice, I've never had this fish before, and it's, um, I like it. And then the sauce grabiche that they put on top. The service said it's kind of like a, a tartar sauce, but it has a little bit more herb in it and some vinaigrette just to make it a little different. Fresh but, herb taste. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was very good. I, I, it's such a good mix of that with the uh, the pickled onions, I would never think pickled onions. It's such a, a nice mix of flavors. Of course, you have the arugula in there. I'm a huge fan of arugula. I would definitely get this sandwich again. It's so good. It's filling. Um, I'm, I've been eating for a little while and I, I'm only halfway through, so definitely a lot of food. And the house-made potato chips are, like, proud. I think the best chips I've ever had. So the server was telling me a little about how they make these, and they, they actually, they cut the potato and then they soak it overnight in water. And I guess that helps take the starches out, so um, just gives it a better consistency. Like they're crispy, but they're, they're not like hard, you know, like they're really easy to chew. So I'm enjoying these a lot. All right, so here's the outdoor seating. So there's seven tables out here. Get a great view. Look at, you can even watch the, the bloom. Super fun, right across from the hangar bar. It's a cool little room over here. And this room is called the glass room, so this is mainly used for larger parties. And it doesn't cost anything extra. And looks like it's also a good room for wine tasting. Look at all these wines in here. Wow. Well, that was an amazing meal. It really was. They never cease to fail in there. It's really always so good. It is. Very consistently good. And the staff is incredibly knowledgeable, really helpful. And um, <laughs> they do that like fire yeah. dash and I was complimenting the server on not setting herself on fire because <laughs> that was quite a bit of a flame happening there. Yes, but, that yeah. seems a little dangerous. Yeah. Our server said that occasionally he'll burn his arm hairs. Yeah, he has <laughs> had some singed arm hairs. <laughs> love the atmosphere in there. I yeah. love all the different types of wines that they have. It's one of the most extensive wine lists in the world. Yeah, it's 160 something, he said, It's right? actually more than that because you have the 160, the, the main printout, but then yep. you have limited reserves so uh, yeah you're looking at like 200s yeah and I mean where can you go and get that that type of offering yeah you know? if you pull up their restaurant on the Disney app and you start scrolling it goes on forever just because of the wine list the owner is is there quite a bit like most of the times we've dined there I think Thanksgiving we didn't see him but yeah, like I was just gonna say yeah he's there all you know most of the time that we go and he's yeah. very friendly okay. just wonderful staff and like it's just a good vibe in there but yeah it's really excellent there if you have a chance to come I feel like price point wise it, in the level of the quality of the food is excellent yeah we got a, an appetizer we got two entrees and you got a glass of wine mm -hmm. and the total bill was $79 yeah we did get like a $5 off discount for DVC so they offer annual pass and DVC discounts for brunch and lunch and for veterans and cast members they offer discounts all day long I also wanted to mention like this restaurant it seems like it's not kid-friendly 
And, you know, most people wouldn't want to bring their kids into a wine bar. Right. But it has a nice casual feel. Like, yeah. you don't have to get dressed up to, to go there. No. And we've taken our kids in there multiple times. There's not usually a ton of kids in there, but it's we've taken them in there. We've had great experiences. Yeah. So the kids' menu wasn't included in the main menu, uh, but they do have a kids' menu. It's actually online on the app. So, um, yeah, you can, you can check it out that way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We enjoyed making it, of course. We definitely did. Tough job we have. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you get a chance to come check out Wine Bar George for yourself sometime soon. You won't regret it. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.